So now there were two blue guitars that were going to be coming from my workshop. And uh, the Rocket Convertible was now the official guitar entering the collection. And uh, we were all, I was ecstatic at the idea, but then I had this other blue guitar, the original one that was contracted. I kept building that one all the way to the end. So here I had this blue Radio City. Uh, even on the inside, I think I had written Blue Collection on, on the inside of it. So it was like a dedicated guitar. And uh, after the fact, all said and done, the Wolf Trap concert took place and Smithsonian Museum had their show and all that. I brought the, the Blue Radio City to Scott one day I, I drove down there. He said, yeah, I'd like to see it. And um, I, I brought it down, and he, he apparently was ill because I didn't see him at all. Mike Carey, his assistant, came down, met me at the door and walked me in. I handed him the guitar, and he brought it up to Scott uh, so he could see it. But uh, So I was offering it to Scott, and... Uh, I thought, well, if he really, if he really digs these guitars, this one was was really happening too, and uh, so he uh, he didn't accept it, and I went home with a guitar, and that was it. So I brought that guitar to a guitar show, the infamous Long Island guitar shows back in the day, and. Um, uh, I had it at my table. I also had another guitar at my table, the Black Widow, the two of them. And uh, this customer came by from Japan and he bought them instantly. So they now, those two guitars, I've no, never seen them again. They're somewhere in Tokyo, I believe. And that was it.